Hey guys, what is going on? It's Raiky of you dust here. Uh, I just said this is star something new on this channel. <laughs> and today we're gonna start, you know, calling scammers. Because why the fuck not? Also, there's a, this app that I use is called Free Call. You know, I'd recommend it, you know, if you want to pull this kind of thing. I've already got these numbers set up, so. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for calling support, this is Toby, how can I help you? Hi, I got a message on my computer saying that I had a virus and it said to contact this number. Can you tell me what message it says? It says, it says your computer may is infected with cryptic malware, whatever that is. And I'm not too sure about that. And then it's also saying that my computer is blocked. Could you please tell me one thing, sir? Like what you were doing on the computer when you first saw this message? I was actually sitting working on videos on YouTube and checking my Facebook at the same time. I'm sorry, I didn't get you. I was on my Facebook. Then it was one of those ones that just kind of popped up. Alright. So, uh, you just let me know, do you see any error message? Like, uh, any error warning? Um, it says, like, your computer is, um, blocked and it can't be accessed. Yes, there would be uh, an error message, a warning message, like a code over there. It, it just looks like a bunch of jumbled code to me and I'm not too sure what, what make of it. Okay, okay, now do you, you don't see any w warning code over there, a number? Uh, it just looks number. like a bunch of, it's like 0x058 four names. Yes, yes, well, j uh huh. That's basically what I can, you know, get from it, and it's just that, really. Just uh, let me know that whole number, and let me just, because I'll check my system and my database what exactly happened with that number okay okay zero five okay eight four nine zero four nine yeah all right after that uh eight five two eight five two seven two one nine Seven two one eight. No, seven two one nine. This is the code. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'll put you on hold for some time. Okay. Let me check out what exactly happened. All right. Just be on hold. Okay. Okay. Thanks for being on hold, sir. Okay. Now, what I can see over here from that code, your computer from last couple of months, your computer is getting downloaded some unwanted malicious files from the internet, which is getting downloaded automatically. Do you have any idea about it? Like, what stuff you do basically on that computer? Uh, I'm not too sure, because I've normally just been setting you know, downloading video games. I'm sorry? I've normally just been downloading video games. No, you you just download video games? Yeah. Okay, do you play online video games? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, let me just tell you one thing, okay? Since you play online video games, and you download lots of things from the internet, from there only your computer got affected. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. And the things which I'm talking about, they are not normal viruses which got affected. They are known as malvis, Trojans. They know what is a Trojans. Um, like a Trojan horse. Right. Exactly. It's not a normal virus. Okay, it's a malicious virus, which are ten times more harmful than normal viruses. Okay, and since your computer got affected, and you can exactly see the result, your computer had been blocked by them. Ah. Okay. Because they want to do some bad thing with it, with your personal information, so that you get the main victim. You'll be the main victim. Yeah. And uh, just let me know. Apart from you, just uh, does anybody else use that computer, uh, or no. you are the main primary owner of that computer? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm the only person that uses this computer. And would you mind if I ask you, like, how old are you? Uh, wait. How old am I? I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Did you repeat the question? Would you mind if I ask you how old are you? I'm 21. You're 21, and you already and you said me that this is your personal computer. Right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So let me just tell you one thing. What I would like to do, okay? I'll help you to unblock this computer. All right. So for that, I will work on your computer and. I will exactly see, I will exactly show you that what happened to your computer. Because I've told you that some IP addresses, some hackers are trying to get up onto your network system and they are blocking your whole network. Facilities your computer has been blocked. Okay. Okay. Right, so I'll directly connect you to my workstation, okay, and I'll work on it, and you can exactly look, exactly see what we are doing, what I'm working, okay? So that okay. you can understand it well, a way better. Wait, could you repeat that? A way better, you can, you can see that how I am working, you can, so that you can understand it well, in a better way. Yeah. All right. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now you do one thing. I'll just guide you some simple steps. Okay. You just listen to me properly. Okay. You look into your keyboard. Okay. Left hand side, bottom corner. You see there is a control button. C T R L. Yeah. Right. Now. Beside the control button, which key do you see? Uh, it's like a four squares. Four square windows button? Yeah. Right, I want you to press that windows button with one finger, hold it, do not release it. Okay. And with another finger, you press the letter R, like Robert. Okay. R O B E R T. Together, and release both keys together. Okay. Right, there we go. And uh, something popped up saying run. Right. Now, below that you can see it's written type name of folder, file, document. Yeah. Internet resources. <clears throat> right. Now, over there, look below, you can see there is a long rectangular space, an empty space. First. First, let me know if that space empty or something is already typed in it. Uh, okay. What? Wait, what? Is something is typed on it? E or it's empty? It's empty. It's empty? Yeah. Okay. Now, over there, you'd first type in lower cases. Okay, okay. okay you type I explore. I, I as in, I'll I'll spell it out for you. It will be I as in Indigo. I N D I G O and for e that. As in Edward. E D. No 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 no. Not Indigo. You don't have to type Indigo. Just the 
first letter. All right. So the first letter, okay. I. Then I. After I, it will be E, like Edward. Edward E D W A R D. No, 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 no need to type full Edward. Oh, oh, oh! The first the letter. Oh, the first letter? You mean E? What? What so, happened? So I just put an I-E? Yes. Okay. You first type I explore. You know how to type I explore, right? Yes. First type I explore. Alright, there we go. Yeah, no, I put it in. Then put a space. Okay, space. Just a single space. Then after space, you type www dot. www dot. Then you type help me together. Help me. Then give again, give a thought. Wait, what? <laughs> Dot. Yes. Okay. Then you type N E T. N E T. Dot net. Dot net. Now just repeat it to me from the beginning. Uh, Internet Explorer www dot help me dot net dot net. Dot net just one time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and now what? What you can see? Uh, I see a Windows page open. Let me know what you can see right now. Uh, it's a website. Uh huh. Then what it says? Uh, it's like, well, where was something like it was popped up saying about Team Viewer, whatever that is. Team Viewer. Yeah. I'm not sure. My PC does a lot of crazy not things. Sure. I'm not entirely Are you sure. sure you're yeah, I'm sure I'm 21. I don't think so. Are you serious? I I, I, I turned 21 last year. Are you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. So after you press on OK after writing that one. What exactly you can see? Well, so website. Well, the URL basically says you know what you've sent me to, which is the website of www.helpme.net. Mm -hmm. Then click on OK. Okay. After you did that, what change you can see on your computer screen? Uh, I'm not. What the hell? My computer's starting to freak out now. <laughs> Uh, okay, the computer's starting to spaz out. The screen's starting to flap like crazy. That's unusual. Is this website malicious? Make a pardon, sorry. Is this website malicious? Because my screen is starting to flap out. <laughs> Is this website malicious because my screen is starting to flip out? Really? Yeah. Your, your screen is flipping out? Yes. Do you have any work to do? Um, what do you do basically? Well, like, I, I opened up the website then my computer started to freak out and I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> 